Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an alternative host for your Zoom personal meeting room. Okay, to start off, you want to open up the Zoom app. You want to make sure you're signed into your Zoom app. If you're not signed in, make sure you sign in with SSO. Once you're signed in with SSO, you should see up here, if you click on your picture or icon, you should see you are logged in with your Fleetwood account. One helpful tip if you're using this Zoom app, as I am right here, is to set this orange button. When it says new meeting, it will automatically open your personal meeting room for a new meeting. That way you can use that same link over and over, and you know that if you've posted that into your Google Classroom, for example, that that's always going to be the meeting that's going to be starting when you click this orange button. So right next to new meeting, you'll see a drop-down arrow. You want to click on that and make sure that this box is checked right here where it says use my personal meeting room. Once you've done that, anytime you click this orange button, it will start a new meeting using your personal meeting room. Next, to set up an alternative host, what you would do is go down here next to the meeting number, and you're going to go down here where it says PMI settings, and that stands for personal meeting ID settings. Click on that. Next, you want to click the advanced options, and you want to scroll down. There are some other options you can take a look at here and, and adjust if you need to. One that I had to turn off was automatically record meeting on local computer. I noticed that mine was defaulted to do that right away with my new computer, so I unchecked this box. Alternative hosts can be typed in here. You can add more than one. I'm going to put in Linda as an example. And as you start typing that email address, you should see it pop up if it's in the Fleetwood organization. And you can add more than one host if you need to. After you've done that, you just click Save. And that's it. You've now added that person as an alternative host. And they will be able to click on your Zoom link and start your meeting. So the last step you'll need to do is to make sure you share your personal meeting room Zoom link with the alternative host. To do that, you can click the down arrow again for new meeting. You can go down to the meeting number and then go over to the right and you can copy the invitation. Next, you want to open up email. So when you copy and paste the invitation, you'll see that a lot of information pops up here. And really, all you need is the link. So you can delete the rest of the information by just highlighting and hitting backspace. Now this link will start your meeting right here for that alternative host. Hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.